Great news in cancer treatment doesn't always make headlines, but that's what I'm here for. A major advance in chondrosarcoma treatment and cancer treatment in general was reported and barely covered in the news. But it deserves attention because it's not just promising for chondrosarcoma, it should have implications for many other cancers too. Welcome to Elevating Cancer Treatment, where I explain the science, bust myths, and help you navigate your cancer journey with clarity and confidence. If that sounds like your kind of content, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and tap the notification bell. And if you find it helpful, please share. It really helps get accurate information out there. Before we dive in, I've made a free guide for you. 10 Things to Elevate Your Chemo Journey. It's packed with practical tips you can start using today. Grab it using the link down in the description below. A few days ago, a major advance in chondrosarcoma treatment and cancer treatment in general was reported and barely covered in the news. But it deserves attention because it's not just promising for chondrosarcoma, it should have implications for many other cancers too. Most phase two trials are very small. Their goal is not to find effectiveness really show safety, but to find the right dose to do the larger trials in. This one, however, did find efficacy. The results were a 52% lower risk of progression or death. And this is for a cancer that normally doesn't respond to chemotherapy at all. That's huge. And the study ran for just three years, not the usual five, meaning the real world benefit is probably even greater. This was against placebo. This wasn't with anything else. This was just this drug or nothing. So how does this antibody therapy actually work? It targets something called death receptor 5, or DR5. That's a protein that tells cells to self-destruct when things go very wrong. Normal cells rarely have DR5 on their surface, but many cancer cells do, and they have a lot of it. So when the antibody binds to DR5, it activates it, and the cancer cell dies. It commits suicide. So here's why this matters to you, and it matters to many more people than it sounds like. This DR5 protein isn't just on chondrosarcoma. It's also found on osteosarcoma, Ewing's sarcoma, breast cancer, ovarian, cervical, liver cancer, pancreatic cancer, colorectal cancers, and even some myelomas. So if this therapy continues to succeed, it will likely open doors far beyond chondrosarcoma, that one rare cancer type.